When you open up images into Aurora HDR, there are a series of three pre-processing operations that you might want to take advantage of. We've already touched on this lightly, but one of those options is alignment. In this case, here is an image that I shot handheld, and it was a low light situation, one where I was not allowed to use a tripod. So between frames, there's subtle shifting, particularly on some of the longer exposures. Let's go ahead and drag these seven images into Aurora HDR. Hand-holding a camera for seven brackets could be pretty difficult. In this case, if you look at it, you'll see that the base exposure was one stop underexposed. And then by shooting two stops apart, we cover from seven stops underexposed to five stops overexposed. On these longer exposures here, the camera's shutter was open for a very long time. Now, when I shoot stuff like this, I try really hard to minimize movement. Obviously, if I can, a tripod or a platypod or some sort of camera mount really makes this easier. But if you have to handhold the camera, it's pretty simple. Tuck the elbows in, pull the camera in tight. This way, you're not out here and you're really holding it in tight, bracing with your body. Then exhale fully. Fire the shot. If you're holding your breath in your body, it creates tension and you'll start to slowly shake. You'll have much less shakiness when handheld shooting, particularly for long exposures, when you exhale before shooting. Now, let's bring these in. First, I'm gonna bring these in without the alignment option and I'll choose Create HDR. It's gonna open much faster, but I want you to see the problems, particularly around some of the edges where we lose sharpness. Now let's zoom in here and start to look at some of the key details. It's not terrible, but the image doesn't feel tack sharp. I'm noticing here that we have a little bit of shift. The edges look just kind of soft on some of these core details here due to a slight shakiness in my handheld technique. It's not terrible, but it's not as good as it could be. So let's go ahead and close that and try it again. This time, I'll check the option for alignment and create the HDR image. Now, the raw files take a little longer to open, but it will then take an additional step of comparing each image to the next and looking for key details that the software will line up. There we go. And let's punch in. Now, the details on the glass look better, cleaner alignment and less issues. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just apply a quick develop preset. We'll choose the basic category here and go with the smart enhancer. Let's go ahead and hide that and zoom back out to fit the screen. Now, if we look at the side-by-side -side split, you'll see that we have more details coming out. The enhancement and the precise alignment has really helped keep things sharp. I particularly like the details in the glass here. Let's punch in a little bit more. And so now we've got great depth on the glass caused by the high dynamic range imaging. Also, these highlights and the lights are better handled. You can just see the overall detail here, how different elements such as the blown glass are sharper and crisper. And any subtle movement caused by the handheld camera work has been removed with the aligned option. If you're gonna be taking advantage of handheld shooting, or even if you're shooting from a tripod, but from a platform that's not rock stable, maybe you're on a dock or you're shooting from a surface that has a lot of people walking on it that creates subtle vibrations, this alignment option does a great job. What it will do is look at each image, lock on to key details, and then suddenly or subtly shift those images until they precisely line up, and it will give you great overall results with sharper edges and better details.